We are now joined by Atlanta's Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Good morning, Madam Mayor. It's good to see you. Um, I watched your entire news conference yesterday. You're, this is very, very personal to you. Why do you feel so strongly about this? Hold on, it's for all the reasons we've been speaking about over the last couple of weeks with the killing of George Floyd. This is so personal to so many people of color in this country. And when I watch the video and the interaction with Rayshad Brooks in that drive through that could have been any one of us. It could have been any one of our kids or brothers. And in, in this case, it was. It was someone's father. And it it breaks my heart. And this interaction with with these police officers was such almost a pleasant interaction. And it did not have to end this way. And that's what's so frustrating. And quite frankly, um, it 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 leaves us asking so many questions because we do so many things in Atlanta. We thought to get it right. And this went so terribly wrong. Well, you clearly want changes. And yesterday you put out some administrative orders. You want to change the way that police do business. You want to change things related to the use of force, related to police inter intervention. What kind of specific changes are you looking for, Mayor? So ironically, we had just um, em embarked upon a review of all of our use of force policies, expecting a report within the next two weeks with final recommendations in 45 days. And then this happened on Friday. And so there are some things that we know immediately as we await those additional recommendations that needed to happen. We have to make sure that officers intervene in a situation where they see wrongdoing. That was the case with George Floyd, where we saw the officers not intervene. That's not a part of our policies. We have to objectively look at de-escalation. That's not very clear in our policies. Shooting at moving vehicles and so many other things that is we're peeling back the layers of our standard operating procedures. Some of it's ambiguous and some of it is simply not laid out. And what I can say is that if this is a challenge that we are having in Atlanta, I assure you that there are agencies across this country, um, if they haven't already begun to do this work, than they probably need to today. Well, as you heard, uh, Mayor Bottoms, today, President Trump said he himself are, is going to put out some executive orders that have to do with police procedures. Did you think about waiting until he came out with his reforms before you came forward? We can't wait. We can't wait. We were waiting for two weeks for recommendations, and then Mr. Brooks was killed on Friday. So we don't have another hour to wait in Atlanta. And there will likely be even more announcements and more administrative orders from my administration for us to very quickly begin to address and, and in so many ways undo uh, the training that our officers have received over several years. You've made some changes already. The police chief, she stepped down, Erica Shields. She was the chief for three years, but on the force for 20 plus years. She remains on the force, but a lot of people held her up as the way police officers should act. She was with protesters. She was marching. And I guess the question is, should she have stepped down? Chief Shields and I have worked together for many years, going back to my time on city council. I have a great deal of respect and regard for her and for her leadership. But this is a marathon, not a sprint. And just as with any relay team, there are, there are times that you have to pass the baton on for someone else to continue the race. And Chief Shields said that she, with her deep and abiding love for our city, wanted to take a step back and allow someone else to lead us through this next phase. So she continues to be a part of our team and will certainly um, have a great deal of input as we make this transition into the next phase of what transformation of our police department looks like in Atlanta. And finally, Mayor, the DA said that by, I think by tomorrow, there may be some charges filed against the police officers. Some of the charges could range from murder, felony murder, involuntary manslaughter. You're an attorney, and yesterday, I think in your news conference, you called it murder. Uh, what, if any, charges do you think should be filed at this point? I'll leave that to the district attorney. He's an independently elected district attorney. Uh, we have several use of force cases uh, sitting in, in his office. And I just ask that with the same expediency and that he's looking at this case and, and the one a few weeks ago with the college students 
that we take a look at all of these cases because we have to be able to offer our communities and these families some finality. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll defer to him and, and we'll await his announcement. All right. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, we thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.